Since the first version of uh, Phoenix LiveView, I'm so impressed uh, with how easy and fast I can develop real-time application without using a complex JavaScript framework. But to me, the most important LiveView's aspect is the productivity boost. Be able to focus uh, just on where data reside and are processed uh, while being sure that all the changes are pushed to the front end, updating the UI automatically. It really feels like magic. In this episode, we are going to see how to get started with Phoenix Live View by creating a new Phoenix app and going through the Live View setup. In the next episodes, we'll then see how to use this setup to build a simple Live View application called Gallery which we'll use to develop our first LiveView page and understand how LiveView works under the hood. In the Gallery app, the user can interact with the LiveView page and go through a gallery of images by clicking the interface buttons. Let's first create our new Phoenix project. We need the latest stable Phoenix framework, which at the moment is the uh, 1.4.10 and uh, node.js installed, so I have uh, node 10.16. To create the new Phoenix project, we use the mix Phoenix new task. Our app name is gallery and we don't need any database, so we use the option no ecto. Now that we've created a fresh new Phoenix app, how can we set up live view? At the moment, there are no LiveView generators, so we need to manually integrate it, changing some files and macros. Let's open the project with uh, our editor. Let's start by adding uh, the Phoenix LiveView library under the Mix uh, EXS uh, dependencies. So we open uh, our Mix EXS file, and down here we add Phoenix Live View, and we can set the release version we find here on uh, the hex uh, Phoenix Live View page, and the latest one is a 031. Or if we want to try the latest code, we can use uh, the GitHub uh, Phoenix Live View repository. In this case, I'm going to use the release version 031. And we run uh, the dependencies get to get uh, our dependency. We now need to update the endpoint configuration uh, in uh, config uh, exs here. So here we are going to add a live view uh, signing salt. So live view signing salt. And here we have to uh, add a signing salt. To generate one, we can use a mix task. Let's go back to uh, our terminal mix phoenix gen secret 32. We copy this and we pass it here. Then we go in uh, lib gallery web and we open the router file here. So inside the module, inside here, the pipeline browser after fetch flush, we add uh, another plug, which is plug Phoenix live view flush. Then we added to the gallery web module and we have uh, three functions here, controller, view and uh, router. So in controller here we uh, do an import. So import uh, Phoenix live view controller and in the view we import uh, four functions so phoenix live view 
only live render two, live render three, live link one, and live link two. So these are the functions that will be available in our view. And then in the router function, import Phoenix uh, live view router. Next, we open the endpoint file and we expose a new socket uh, for uh, live view updates uh, in this module. So socket live Phoenix live view socket. Let's now focus on the front end side. So let's go under assets here and open package JSON. And under dependencies, we add a, a new JavaScript library, Phoenix live view, which is taken from depths Phoenix live view. And to install this dependency, we take the terminal and we do npm install prefix uh, assets. Great. We are almost ready. We just need to add four lines of JavaScript code in uh, here under assets, JS and app. So let's copy and paste the code. Uh, you can find this code, these four lines in the Phoenix Live View GitHub repository or in the article linked to this video. And what this code does is to connect uh, Live View uh, running uh, in our browser to the Live View process uh, running on the server. And uh, this library is in charge uh, of receiving updates uh, from the server and applying these updates, uh, changing the DOM. As a final step, let's add the uh, live view CSS here under assets, CSS, app. You can find uh, this line uh, in the article or in the live view GitHub repo. Great, the setup is finished and live view is ready. To see if everything works, we could uh, write a really, really simple live view model. So we will see later uh, exactly uh, how everything works, but let's create a really simple uh, live view module. So let's go under lib gallery web. Let's create a live live directory under live here we create a gallery live uh, file and the module is uh, gallery web gallery live we use phoenix live view so def mount we need this uh, function here we will see later in later episodes uh, what uh, this function is for session socket and we return okay the socket and render this is the function uh, that is called when uh, the we need to render the page uh, so render assigns uh, as sigils l that stands for live view this is the template and here we need just to say live view is awesome. Well, cool. Great. This is a super simple live view module and uh, we should expect an H1 uh, tag with uh, live view is awesome. Uh, we need to add this to the router. So route here and so live gallery gallery live and that's it
let's say the terminal and run the uh, Phoenix server. Mix Phoenix server. Let's now take our browser and test uh, if everything works. Localhost. Okay, this is the index page and uh, gallery. Great, our super simple live view model works, so the live view setup was done correctly. In the next episodes, we will see uh, how to use this setup to start digging into the live view functionalities and to understand how uh, live view works under the hood. As always, if you have any question, if anything isn't clear, please let me know, leaving a comment below. If you like this video and want to be updated when new content is available, please subscribe to this channel and to the Poetic Coding newsletter. Thanks for watching, bye.